Hey everyone, it's Ronan Ross here with another video for Legendary Game of Heroes. This is a video for advanced strategy in Earth decks for Guild Wars. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Dark Sand God who had requested that I do a video on this deck and to show how to use these cards uh, in Guild Wars. So these are the cards from the at the current time past Earth Commander deck, the Quick and Dirty deck, and the deck that you're seeing right here is comprised of three ultra rares, Kajanawa Expert Isabel, the shiny Master Collection card Willa Rock Crusher, and the Ultimate Form Quick and Dirty. Of course getting three ultra, ultra rare cards is incredibly difficult. Um, but that's actually not the most difficult part of acquiring for this deck. It's actually this relic here. It's the Talon Partisan 5 star. Talon Partisan, as you probably know, is the one of the Generation 2 Guild War relics. Uh, this is the Earth version, and all of them have, at 5 stars, the ability to revive. This one is called Talon Revive. It revives you to full health, removes all the debuffs, that were put on your cards and removes all of the buffs that are on the warden. So it's a clean, fresh slate. And like all revives, it takes you into the next turn. So if you were just one turn away from getting your skills back from cooldown, that would also help you there. So I have actually created a couple of versions of this deck to showcase. So I'm going to just hop in with this first one just to explain um, how to use this one first. The reason that I'm I'm using that 5 star talent partisan is because this car this deck unlike the hard one gorillas doesn't make gems uh, passively so you won't have enough gems to kill a really strong first warden like this one okay and I actually purposely chose this guy to fight because he has flatline first so I wouldn't be able to use a card that has revive skills so I need a relic that has revive skills so once you're able to revive the rest of the battle here is very easily to do. Um, I just used the ultimate form, the master collection card, and the one trick that you'll see me doing over and over here that makes this very uh, useful, uh, a usable deck, excuse me, is to use the ultra rare, the Kajanawa expert who resets the master and ultimate form cards, to use that card on the same turn that use those skills, but then not use those skills again. Because if you actually look at the board, there's plenty of gems on the board to kill this warden. I don't need to use those abilities again, and in fact, I don't want to. Uh, and I'll, I'll, you'll see briefly why that's very important. So, really easy to destroy the warden with these cards because they make so many power gems, and with the Talon Partisan, you make even more gems. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the ultimate form in the master collection card. I'm going to reset the skills but not use them and I'm just going to proceed and destroy the warden. Now with this deck you don't actually even need three ultra rares. I'm just using them uh, because it makes my life easy and I have three ultra rares. And the reason is because you see on this turn the third warden, if I didn't have the last ultra rare actually, um, I would have two cards that I are on cooldown but because I already reset them I can actually use the ultimate form and master collection card to kill this warden. Okay. And that can happen even if you use the ultra rare on turn two. But it's important that you use the ultra rare on turn one because you see here that first ultra rare that I used, that first Kajanawa Expert Isabel, that one that I used on the first turn with the flatline warden, now is uh, able to be used again on this warden. So I haven't even touched that third ultra rare. So now I can use her again and destroy this warden. And then, of course, on the next turn, I'll be able to use the other one. Okay, And that's why you want to use the ultra rare on that first turn. So basically the same turn that you're using the skills, but then keeping those power gems to be used for the next turn. Okay, See, I can do all this without even using that third ultra rare. So I'm, actually, I'm not going to destroy this warden so that I can jump into the next deck. Okay, So... That's the easy version of this deck if you have the cards, but obviously these cards are hard to acquire. And maybe you don't have a Talon Partisan, okay? Um, but you do have the Enchanted North Star Chakram, which is the other 
Earth Revive Relic. There's only two Revive Relics. They're both Earth. One is for a creature, one is for um, Earth Slayer. And the reason I'm using the Enchanted North Sun Chakram is because there are Earth Commander Spirit Cards. And to activate the North Star Chakram, you only need to have a spirit on the team. So the spirit I'm using here is Kana Soul Wayfarer. And she just makes three gems. She has four turn cooldown. Her main purpose here is to help me trigger the revive relic. Okay. So I'm not gonna enter this battle because if you saw the previous battle, then you know that I only need two ultra rares to even make this work. Even though Khan doesn't have as high of an attack, it's not that big a deal. I have plenty of attack from the other four cards, and she is actually an Earth Commander, so she's actually boosting all the whole team actually a little bit more than in this first version, okay? So this version would work the same way. I'm activating Ultra Rare on the same turn as the Master and the Ultimate Form, but not using the reset cards. And that way I can maintain the whole battle by just using those two. And I have this Revive Relic so that I can survive that first flatline. So this was actually going to go the same way as that first deck. Um, and this doesn't require the Talon Partisan, which uh, some players may not have yet. Though I do recommend you get the Talon Partisan because it's incredibly useful. And even at three stars, it's incredibly powerful. Now let's say you have the Talon Partisan because you've been trying to develop your Guild War deck. But you weren't lucky enough to get more than one Ultra Rare in this Earth Commander event. Um, and maybe you have the hard won gorillas, and maybe you want to try to make use of that. And yes, you actually can make use of this, um, but now in this version, you do need the 5-star Talon Partisan, because you really can't sacrifice another slot for someone like Kana. Now, you can put Kana... Okay in this deck that I'm going to show you here as the leader and not use the hard one gorillas and do the North Star Chakram, that's totally fine. You'll still survive, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, you won't be able to destroy some higher power wardens because you're just not going to have enough gems on the board, enough high level power gems to make it work. Um, but it's completely feasible, so if you don't have a good earth deck, and your hard one gorilla deck is not really working for you in Guild Wars, that actually is an option. Um, but here I'm just going to show you how to use this exact version where I do have a five star talent partisan. So, um, before I forget to say, I didn't set up uh, the other version, which is that if you don't have, if you have the five star talent partisan, but you don't have the hard one gorillas, you can actually have two of these line leader Isabels and the ultra rare. And that's the same thing as having two ultra rares um, because that resets one card, this resets two cards. You can see how having two of the support cards is the same as having the ultra rare. And I've already shown that you only need two ultra rares, so that could work as well, but that definitely needs to have the five star talent partisan. Um, so here, what I'm going to do is, I'm again, I know I'm going to have to die on this first boss, first warden, and then I'm going to use the ultimate form, master collection card, I make up plenty of gems, I reset the cards, don't use them, uh, I'm going to make sure to match all these gems so that I can get the most damage possible. Now on this next turn, um, because I'm going to have to reset with Isabel, Line Leader Isabel, and I only have one of her, um, the important thing here is, because she's going to only reset one of them, I'm going to want her to reset the one that makes more gems, which is the ultimate form. So I'm going to use Quick and Dirty first, and then immediately reset and then I'm going to make sure that I'm pressing uh, Willa, Rock Crusher. And then I'm going to match these gems. Oh, I missed one. Um, 
but it's still okay. That was a little bit close. You do with this strategy, obviously you're gonna want to make sure that you match all the gems possible. So on this one, I only have the quick and dirty, but I do have the hard one gorillas. Uh, so I'm going to use quick and dirty first because hard one gorillas does make two excuse me three power gem twos and I don't want the power gem fours to go on top of those so I will do this and then match and use these cards so now You can reset the two cards. Now this turn will be pretty easy. I'm actually going to leave those two gems out so that I can have them for the next turn. Um, and the reason is because the next turn has a little bit of randomness to it. Because line is line leader Isabel now I can use her, but she'll reset one of these two cards, one either Willa or Quick and Dirty, and that's a difference of one power gem for probably in the big picture won't make a big difference but uh, perhaps it can for for some situations so uh, I'm going to reset and I got Willow this time and I'm going to use no, low battery Willow Rock Crusher and then the hard one gorilla so that I can make enough gems to activate the relics and the talent partisan and I'm gonna make sure to match all of these gems and that will be enough to destroy this final warden so that's another way that you can go uh, about using the cards in the quick and dirty if you only have one ultra rare and again so in that strategy I used the hard one gorillas. You could also, if you have digital Veilfar and you've already a s specialized that dragoon, Earth Dragoon, into the form that's like the master collection card from hard one gorillas, the Voltreon, that can also be your leader because the dragoons can power either commanders or slayers. They're not specific. Um, so that's another option there. But again, you need a revive relic for this strategy. Whatever strategy you pick, you need a revive relic, whether it be the five star talent partisan or the North Star Chakram. And actually, here on this last one I showed you, it could also um, have been the enchanted X vertebrae helm, which is the earth creature revive relic that works well because you have creatures in the hard one gorillas. Um, but that version, like uh, that version wouldn't make as many gems because it doesn't have the talent partisan so you're gonna not be able to defeat as high of an opponent with um, that setup but that's also a possibility and that other possibility that I mentioned where you can use two line leader Isabelle's plus an ultra rare that also works just like this first version where I had the three ultra rares but never used that third one so there's a lot of different combinations that you can use with this quick and dirty deck. It's pretty fun. It is very quick. Um, it's not that dirty because you do require a lot of these other more powerful uh, relics like the Talon Partisan, um, which, to be honest, make a lot of Earth decks very powerful, so not just this deck. But the fact that you can reset and you only need those two cards um, and the fact that you can even use two support and ultra rare master and ultimate forum to have a pretty good deck actually makes it a pretty awesome option so if you're looking for an earth deck to defeat some higher level ascended warden water warden teams um, definitely give this a try and see how it works for you um, there's other combinations of course so if you find something interesting um, you know definitely use what works for you and hopefully this video was was informational and you got something out of it. If you have any feedback or comments, please leave them at the bottom of the video. Um, give me a like if you th like this kind of inform this kind of content, and I'll try to make some more. Uh, otherwise, this is Ronan Ross, and thank you for watching.